Branded Therapeutic Fragrance, welcome to the channel. New video, new unboxing, some Black Friday stuff that I took advantage of, had to. Um, one, I've been waiting for all year, separate video. This seems the best way to get this stuff out there. This one, brand new natural company, been following for 10 months at least, just waiting for a sell because they're, they're in Australia. It, it's just just risky uh, to buy naturals. I've been burnt. Um, this was such a great deal. At least I know their naturals that are in here if I don't like it, but let's get to it. You know what they are, a title of the video. I can't surprise you, can't hide it. That's my personality, I like to put in surprises, but this YouTube thing, you just can't, can't. So my two day shipping was included. Um, Australian to US dollar was less than, and then a huge, nice, big percent off um, came out to some of the cheapest bottles I've bought in all, all year. So, and it's all natural, so that's, um, I, I love spraying on as much of that stuff. There's benefits in natural oils. So again, there's therapeutic benefits in this one, but let's, let's see if it's good stuff, man. This is tape heavy duty, but not heavy duty enough for the good old Dewalt blade. I need a higher table. See me do the cuts. Let's see, this box is not your basic Uline box. This is an A plus on packaging. Cause um, like I said, I was in shipping and receiving. So when I got in there, we um, the returns and damaged, we uh, took it down to like 5% by just doing, taping the box three times and just doing different stuff that you learn. So the boxes don't get open because those shippers are mean. Can I open up just this? This is a mean box, man. I didn't mean for this to be challenging on here. This ain't fun. Not for me or you. I hope not you. This might be fun. This is the best tape I've ever seen. Okay, did we get it? Seriously. Okay, Brandon's got this ripped open. Uh, I hate these things. I hate these things. Messy. We used to have the big old 20 gallon thing that you put the box under and load in. I don't know, I might cut this, so I might just be talking to myself right now. Gotta entertain something like this. There we go. And this is taped up, holy moly. Nice presentation gift, that's cool. So baggy to get to it, but perfect for under the tree. Nobody would even know to ever buy this for me. Accident, I mean, I was searching deal after deal, and I mean, Lucky Scent never even does anything. So this is pretty cool, check that out. That's really cool paper, unique. I've never seen that powder before. Um, nice linen ribbon. Little, little one seed label. Nice touch for the season. I mean, it's the, I don't know if they do this all year long. I didn't choose, I don't think I chose it. If it was free, I probably would've chose it, but I don't remember choosing a gift or anything. I try to be gentle with this stuff, like the Mitsuko bottle. Um, some guys posted on uh, their Instagram, how do you get around the string on the Mitsuko? I'm like, I didn't have the patience. Brandon style, I had to get some the juice. I totally cut my string and opened it. About to cut this. And there's actually people I couldn't give this to if this is good, so. Ugh. Um, natural, I, I got some people into essential oils, tons. And I explain what they have no idea what I do or smell or, or think. So I'm like a fly on the wall and hear them talking about essential oils, just keep my mouth shut about my opinion as they sell their whatever young living stuff or whatever it is, probably saying on Nutera. I don't know what comes here with even. They're all the same to me. Okay. Well, I don't think this would be intact, so that sucks. I would have to rewrap this. Super cool packaging. That's cool paper. It's just cool paper. Oh, I guess we're, we're starting off with this. So this is uh, the three set still up there. Whispers being discontinued or something like that. So um, you get the, this one was lodged out of place. Oh, there we go. 
three three bottles there, cool package. Three bottles for almost virtually the same price as one bottle there. So I want to get to the other stuff first. Let's put that there. Fine. Stubborn. Stubborn, stubborn. Okay, that wasn't fun. I'm trying not to spill these corners everywhere. Postcard, just blank. I did request like one little, one ML or two ML sample. If something doesn't look like, they're, they're, I don't think they're really set up for that, but um, that's a bummer. I was, it's too risky of bottle buy, even at that price. Well, I, I mean, I had to limit what I bought. All, all of this that I'm showing you is basically the price I, I would spend one bottle on, and a little cheaper than that. So, love the poultry wrap, meat, meat wrap, paper wrap. Cup sticker. That still might be in there. There's tons of stuff in here. All right, here we go. So it comes packaged. These I bought these individually. They just put them together for me right there. I'll show each of them. Don't have to drop them. So unfortunately, no extras. But can't can't uh, the price. Really not built in for extras compared to everybody else. But usually companies throw in samples of stuff. Uh, my favorite imaginary author's hiding it in their book, but they get into trouble. I've seen so many people. I threw my box away. We don't say boxes. And there's hidden in samples in, in the books. Anyways, let's get to this. All right, packaging. I've seen this kind of packaging before, I believe, from Monsiage out of Canada. Um, it's cool. Cardboard box. This is slow fire. Hopefully that shows there. Um, they give recommendations of what this uh, smells like. They're saying <laughs> this relates to oud wood. Dangerous words. Um, they're a natural company, so they're trying to make those differences. And um, Estee Lauder's Cinnabar. I don't even know how Cinnabar and oud wood mix, but that's their uh, saying. They classify this as a smoked aromatic woods. And um, tissue in here, round, and then square bottles. Pretty sure there's stock. Thick juice, you can tell there's good stuff in there. Wooden caps, love, I, I actually like the presentation. See the juice, see the, see the great stuff. In the right light, at the right time, everything is extraordinary. That's Aaron Rose. I don't know who Aaron Rose is, I think. Uh, watches off. Rains off. I knew I was spraying good today. Testing. So slow fire. Let's do this. Sprayed without anything. That's weird. No alcohol smell at all off the top. Letting it sit in. It's huge citrus, smoky citrus off the top. Getting like the, the orange scent, the orange uh, aerosol sprays. Or that, that, that kind of feel, a little darker orange. Spices, spicy, fresh spice. Um, I would say cinnamon. I, I would say I smell cinnamon in here, pepper in here. Just a nice soft chai, not full on chai, but chai spice on top. Um, I don't get the oud wood at all. Maybe it's a suggestion if you like oud wood, try this as a natural um, thing. Um, there is um, a heavy wood in this. Let's see. It's not oud. Gotta be cedar. Gotta be cedar. I, I mean, almost like that Texas cedar. Guessing, but a cedar. Dry, a dry cedar. Deck cedar. Um, citrus fades pretty quick. Not getting no uh, lime, lemon, bergamot kind of citrus. Definitely orange type citrus all the way with spice, chai spice. Nice winter, um, spicy fragrance for the season. Cedar for sure. I don't know the, the dry down. There's some herbs in there, some greenery in there. Um, I mean, easy for the price. Like, I think I'm out of this 50 bucks with, with all the discounts and everything. So, I mean, that's just pretty good. All right, next. Solitude. 
I lied. I want to try this Bohemia first on a, on a clean arm. Because now I'm going to use the back of the hands after this Bohemia. Hopefully that focuses in. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. I've been known in my recent edits from here. I do have to work on lighting. I know the back is, is shot, but I mean, I'm concentrating my face and just getting the new scenery. So patience. A lot better from when I started. A lot better. All right. Same deal here. Look, color, great color on that. I mean, these, these are great in the collection. These, these look really good um, in the collection. Nice stickers. Oh, this got a uh, saying too. Every uh, morning we are born again. What we do today is what matters most. Utama Buddha. All right, let's see if this has any empty spray. Spray straight from the, I don't know if they test this. Maybe they test to make sure the atomizer is working. Woo, yummy, yummy, yum. I'm saying chocolate without even looking. This is gourmand. It's yummy. Yeah, dark chocolate, just sweet amber. This is an amber. The citrus is, um, come on. Grapefruit. It's grapefruit if I remember right. I smell grapefruit. Come on. Floral jasmine. And with naturals, you're easy to pick up these notes. Um, no, th this says it's like uh, Tom Ford's. I'm going to look it up in a second. Lily uh, Orchid, Orchid. Did I say that right? Black Orchid and Coco Chanel. It says it's like that. I remember the Coco Chanel part. Um, of course, Chanel is built like built very well. It's a designer fragrance, a classic. I mean, it's a masterpiece. So it's. I would never do a versus this versus that. I mean, maybe they're just like this. This is the best natural turn for now, for that. <laughs> but the the chocolate note, you're you're not gonna, and it's the dark chocolate you eat. I I I, I talk about fancy dark chocolate. This is a, a typical dark chocolate you would buy, like if you went dark chocolate, whatever, Reese's, <laughs> Mars, Snickers, their version of dark chocolate. They still make it a little bit sugary. That's the scent on this. Very realistic dark chocolate note. Mixed with, uh, it's gourmand all day long. This is sweet. It's in the women's section up there. I don't believe in, you, you know. I'd still, it's, 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 it's a gourmand, yummy chocolate fragrance. Let's see if I pick up dried out notes before looking. The grapefruit is, is prominent now as it settles into the skin. Um, I can't pick up any base and see what they are. Rose, black tea, and tonka bean. The tea, the tea is the interesting part. That is, um, yeah, it's like a black, lip to back, black tea. Not strong, not potent, but it's, it's there. It might be there more as it dries down. Again, I, if you follow the channel, you know how I am. Um, if th this is just introductory opening to get me out of there, I'm not gonna score, I'm not gonna do nothing like that. This is just to get the company uh, of what I'm looking at, of what I'm into, um, radar stuff. Otherwise, it's my, I have so many things that are, are just back. It's just overwhelming. So this is my way to just get it up there. And um, some of this will never be reviewed, even though there are natural. So I want people to know the natural alternatives because some people can't, just won't wear uh, uh, anything synthetic. And I totally get their convictions on that. So that's a big reason I'm putting that up here so quick. Um, this is... Just your dark chocolate your, your, that you'd buy in a candy bar with tea. The rose is there, not, not a heavy pungent rose. Um, I don't know if these guys are different compatible or not. I didn't look all that up, but it's it's soft enough rose to say that they are. So you can only use what three percent total um, composition of uh, the combined chemicals of, of that. All right, solitude. Let's do the next one. So I'm gonna do the back of my arm now. This is the next one. I hope that focuses in. This says if you like Givenchy, 
P. Javinci, Javinci Pi Chanel Egoist, or Jazz Club. So Jazz Club really uh, interested me. Their notes are black pepper, dry woods, tarragon, I love tarragon, hell vanilla, ambretzi, tonka bean, and orris. So if they're using a real orris in here, and everything is the same price, so it always confuses me. Orris is definitely more expensive than everything else they've said. Beautiful color, nice contrast on the sticker. They changed the sticker up. Yeah. So let's spray this love. I get jazz club from this, easy. I get that scenario. This is like uh, burning the, when you sniff the cedar wood in a sauna. That's what that, that these first sniffs are like. Still <laughs> like that, like when take a deep breath in a sauna, just pure wooden sauna that's fresh, clean, not well used. Um, just, it's a beautiful smell, love the smell, just dry cedar. Still like that, I can't get away from that. Every, every sniff is like that. There's a bunch of more uh, the ingredients there. Still not picking up the tarragon. I get, I want to say eucalyptus because that's always the oil I use in the sauna, but it's not, it's not listed. It's something like a eucalyptus. A little bit of spice. I get the spice in there, not heavy. I want more of the tarragon. I want more of the tarragon. I smell the greenery that has to be tarragon. It's only no listed that, that has any. Sweet vanilla. Not gonna run from that, that, that this is like sitting in a sauna and breathing it in, which I, I love that smell. Love to have that in my collection. It's different than Jazz Club. There's a ton, or there's a tiny bit of smokiness in this, even though not listed. Mm, this, this is like breathing in the sauna. I, I can't get away from that. All those breaths. It changes much. Um, I'll try to report down in comments on all of these. I guess that's the best way to do is, is up because I'm, I'm, as a review, each one of these get their own journaling page, journal, pen to paper. Just something I love to do in, in between dead times, waiting in lines. It's, it's just some, something that's become a habit for me. So I'll try to get this to you guys. But this, I, I can't get away from the thought. I keep trying to. Spice and greenery is there, but the heavy breath is, is in a sauna. All right, let's get to these real quick. Try to fly through these. These are stuck in there. I do not want that long a video. All right, Whisper is a discontinued one, so I'm gonna spray it on my only unfree arm, and now I gotta go up the arm after that. Still, no, no empty sprays. They must be just getting to make sure that, ooh, this great Siage atomizer works. Yum! Clean linen, clean laundry scent. This reminds me of the commodity clean that I did a review on. All natural, because it won't blow up the soap on my skin. So I finally have something just this, this, just clean, easy. Fits into that able category I always talk about. Put it on in the morning, go out. That's what this is. Ooh, there we go, get some dirty. What's the dirty in here, is that patchouli? Hmm. Looking it up, let's go see what Whisper has to offer. These are etched, so they got these bottles special for the, the thing. Clean cotton is the style. Notes are skin musk, violets, white sage, and jasmine. Okay, I get the jasmine and sage. That's the dirtiness going on. It's the, it's the animal jasmine, yummy, yummy, yummy. But on top, just uh, uh, totally clean cotton. I, I would call it clean linen. I'd get rid of the cotton and put linen. I don't linen smell, this, this smells like laundry. Clean, not the... Um, I, I right cycle past the industrial laundry stuff, 100% different. That's like aromatic ISOE or whatever they're using. You just smell the detergent. This is like growing up detergent, healthy. I, I use natural detergent, have to, rash on my skin again. So I'm always buying the natural stuff. We have a good company up here in Washington that makes really good natural stuff that stocks the Costco's. So it makes it cheap. And that's, I've used that for 15 years. Just nice, fresh laundry smell on the skin. That's what that is. I have nothing else to add to that. Dreamer. Okay, I'm gonna spray above the arm. 
I know it's not the best. Ooh, this is subtle, subtle. This is bringing a memory back. When I get these memories, I just sit there and in the next 10 minutes, it'll just fade in slowly and become real vivid. And that's, I always, I've 200 videos many, many times, especially the patchouli's. A lot of childhood stuff was, uh, was caught up. Something is jogged instantly. I don't know if I have time to pull up in this because I'm trying to get these thoughts out. I don't want to sit here for 10 minutes on camera even though you guys are worth cutting for, I gotta get on with my day. Definitely a childhood smell in this. Somebody had a wills like this. Okay, let's look up the notes. This is spicy floral and summer fruits. Orange blossom, tangerine, mimosa, stone fruits, pink paper cone, ginger fig, clary sage. So no patchouli. It's clary sage and patchouli are, are intertwined sometimes. Not that they're similar, but they're, they're both green. Sage is definitely, if you burn sage, different, but provides some of that close earthiness. That's the sage I'm picking up. Yeah, it's fig. It's a beautiful scent. This this is a good scent. Just easy, easy wearing. I'm sure these only last two to three hours. I don't know, I'll try to report that in the comments too. They're all natural. On me, naturals eat up all my skin. I've reported, I don't hide, or yeah, hide, hair and green and, and hide. This, this, really the only stuff I've had all natural that lasts uh, sufficiently through a day for me. This is great. The, the, the fruits and everything. This one is its own accord. This is its own thing. It, it's, it's, it's a good wearing. I, I have to get back to report longevity, but this is um, coming together really nicely. It's own smell. Notes are kind of blending very well together. Probably can get a review of this. And the Bohemia, I'm thinking. All right, Freedom is the last one. And then we're done. And then we're done. Oh, I don't, what is that? Is that apricot or plum? I, got it. I don't like it. I don't like the top so far. Oh, okay, Dreamer, they said it smells like heretic Florgasm. Not even close. I hated Florgasm. Look at my heretic video. I'm surprised they haven't contacted me yet. Uh, Juicy Couture, Viva the Juicy, and Burberry Britcher. I don't smell either of those, so I can't speak to that. All right, Freedom. Soft floral musk. Main notes are pink grapefruit, rose, magnolia. Yeah, the rose is strong with the magnolia. Cedarwood, fresh cut grass. Didn't get that yet. Pill musk, rosewood. If you like Chanel number five, Miss Dior, uh, Narcisco Rodriguez, Fleur Musk. The, the Rose of Magnolia are disgusting to me. I don't like that at all. That's personal taste. I, I've learned, I think this is, this is, this mixture, this powdery rose mixture is a reason that I stayed away from rose. Um, and, until the oud thing brought me back into rose and now I, I love roses ever since the five dating scents fragrances that I did, um, but this combo is not for me. This will be a gift to somebody. Not for me. Anyways, that's my coverage of this, and um, I'm out. Hope you learned something. Got a new company up here. Be blessed.